Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. Today, in this lesson, video lesson, we are going to talk about a vector's problem which is based on a rule called something like parallelogram law. First of all, probably we need to remind ourselves what is a parallelogram law is. That is helpful, that rule is helpful to identify the resultant of two vectors. As per that rule, if the two vectors are represented as two adjacent sets of a parallelogram starting from the point, then the resultant of the two vectors is diagonal of the parallelogram going to the same point. Taking that into consideration, let us try to understand the problem. It is given in the problem that there are two vectors, they are equal, the vectors are nothing but forces. The resultant of the two forces is 141.4 Newton when they are perpendicular to each other. If the angle between them is 90, they have a resultant of 141.4 Newton. If they are now inclined at an angle of 120 degree, what will be the resultant of these two vectors? That's the question. That's what we have. Let's try to solve the problem by taking the given data into consideration. It is given in the problem that F1 equal to first force equal to second force and they are all equal to F and the angle between the two vectors is nothing but 90 degree in case 1. It was given like so. Then we can write basing on this F resultant is equal to root of F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 F1 F2 cos theta. This is the resultant that we have obtained basing on the parallelogram law. We have made a video on this. Please go through the video if you are not aware and familiar with this result. Now, this f resultant, let me substitute the values. f1 square is f square. f2 square is also f square. 2, f1 and f2 are same. But the angle between them is 90. We know cos 90 is 0. Therefore, this entire term becomes 0. So, its answer is nothing but equal to root 2 f square. That is nothing but equal to root 2 times of f. But it is given that the resultant of these two vectors is 141.4 Newton. Therefore, 141.4 is root 2 times of f. That implies f value is 141.4 by root 2. But we know root 2 is nothing but 1.414. So, if you calculate this value, you will get the answer as something like 100 Newton. So, we have understood basing on the given data that each of the force that what we are taking into consideration is actually 100 Newton. Now, we can shift to the case 2 of the problem. What is that case 2 tells you is F1 is F2. that is equal to F, that is in fact equal to 100 Newton as per the problem. And the angle between these two vectors is 120 degree. Then we want to calculate what is the F resultant in this case, in this new case. We can again use the parallelogram law and write the same formula, F resultant equal to root of F1 square, but I am writing F square because F1 equal to F2, 2 F1 F2 the angle between them is theta. Let us try to write a generic formula first. Root of f square plus f square is 2f square and another 2f square cos theta. So, I can take 2f square common and 1 plus cos theta. You know in trigonometry there is a formula. 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. This is a basic formula in trigonometry that we need to know. So, our answer is root of 4f square cos square theta by 2 whose value is nothing but 2f cos theta by 2. We need to now calculate what is the value of this 2f cos theta by 2 in our problem. Let us substitute the data that implies f resultant is 2, we have calculated each f is 100 degree cos angle is now given like 120. So, 200 cos 60. 
we know cos 60 is nothing but equal to half. So, the answer is nothing but equal to 100 Newton. So, the resultant of the two vectors, the same vectors, when they are having an angle separation of 120 degree is nothing but equal to 100 Newton. Thank you for watching. We will continue this kind of solving the problems further in this lesson. Many more. Thank you.